so I was listening to the prosecutor explain Diddy's charges, and this part right here took me out. Check it out. The indictment alleges that those individuals facilitated the freak offs. They booked the hotel rooms and stocked them with the supplies, including drugs, baby oil, personal lubricant, extra linens, and lighting. Okay. I, I, I can't imagine having a job that involved stocking up lubrica lubrication for the freak offs to provide supplies for someone's depraved sexual desires. And not just one bottle as well. We're talking a lot of lubrication. And they seize cases and cases of the kinds of personal lubricant and baby oil that Combs' staff allegedly used to stock hotel rooms for the freak offs. More than 1,000 bottles altogether. And the crazy thing is that Diddy was one of the most powerful men in the music industry. Had so many people working for him, signed to his label. Everybody wanted to get near Diddy. He amassed millions, if not billions of dollars, only to be brought to ruin by his sexual desires. You know, this is not the first time this has happened. Even in the Bible times, we read about uh, the story of how the sons of God, meaning angels, started to notice the daughters of men. And oh, how beautiful these women were. So these angels desired to clap cheeks. So they transformed themselves into human form in order to take these beautiful women as wives. Just because they were focused on their sexual desires, right? So we all want to go to heaven. And, and these angels were willing to leave their majestic heavenly duties due to the lack of, uh, of control over their sexual desires. You know, many other powerful men have been brought down to nothing, locked away in a box, being told when to get up, when to play, what to eat, when to call their family and friends due to their uncontrolled sexual desires. So it's important not to underestimate the power of, of sexual desires, right? It's important that we don't do that. And as men, sexual discipline is a must, right? It might just save your life. Okay, I'm reloaded. Okay.